We're here with Senator Campbell at the uh, Florida Black Caucus Gala. Thank you for joining us on Fi TV. Oh, thank you for having me tonight as well. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about the importance. Tell us about the importance of celebrating Black History Month. Well, you know, I think, you know, Black History Month is very important to me, especially me as a black African-American senator and the first Haitian senator in the state of Florida. You know, it's very important because you see when you're black, you're missing a lot. You know what I mean? And people feel like uh, because you're black, you cannot be a senator, you cannot achieve anything, you cannot have a good position. You know, when you're black, you know, certain place you cannot enter. So this is the, the mind of certain people. Mm -hmm. So uh, celebrating Black History Month is really uh, important for everybody. It's about everybody. It's about, yes, yeah. empowering, you know, what is going on around the world because um, Black always, uh, even in the past, you know, history says, you know, like uh, when you're black, you can even sit the same place than a, a white person. And a lot of things happen. And I could tell you for myself, you know, it is so sad and I have to say it. You know, um, I got someone who came to my office three weeks ago and told me, you know, someone, you know, in my district looking for somebody else to run against me. And when the person said, oh, but she's doing so well. and and the person who responded back said, well, she's black. So because she's black, she shouldn't be representing anybody who's white in the district. Because my district is diverse, because the district have white, Hispanic, you know, we have Jewish, we have Haitian, we have Jamaican, Nigerian, Indian. So it's, you know, it reflected me what's been, you know, what happened in the past for me to hear it and come to my face to say, well, she's doing well, but she's black. Right, right. So this is why tonight I'm here with a black um, uh, um, um, gala with um, elected official, um, you know, for us to understand, yes, we are black, but we are somebody. Right. And right. we're supposed to be treated equally like everybody else. All right, so for that next generation, who is, the, who is Daphne Campbell's favorite uh, uh, African-American icon? Who do you look up to, either contemporary or historically? Well, I look at, at uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Because Martin Luther King is a local uh, um, icon for us. And he's a, he's a trailblazer. And uh, he fights so much, he fought so hard to make sure black people, you know, now treat it equally. And it, it just, uh, uh, um, you could see it's a legacy for black folks like me. So I always look, you know, into him, always reminded me, you know, if uh, Martin Luther King could do so much, so as a black woman, I could do the same. All right, so, so thank you, Senator. So now here's, here's an important uh, question for the Florida Internet and television crowd. When you're not up here fighting for your constituents, which you always are, of course, but how do you relax? What do you like to watch on TV to take your mind off it or the Internet? What do you like to watch? Well, well I like to watch Oprah okay. because Oprah is a woman of inspiration as a black woman, and uh, she's very well known and she's wealthy and uh, she done so much in the country and she accomplished so much as a black entrepreneur. So I, I always look, um, you know, to what she does and I could follow her footsteps. I don't think I'm going to be rich like her, but at least I could do as much I can for my constituency just um, because of what she does. Well, I don't know about that. If you could be the first Haitian member of the Florida legislature, maybe you can also build a fortune like that. So, well, uh, you never know because only God knows. That's right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Phi TV and thanks for being here and part of this gala. Thank you for having me too. Thank you.